Good morning. It's Thursday, somewhere in the middle of May. I think it might be about the 14th, maybe. Um, I haven't really planned to do vlogs every Thursday, but the past few weeks it just seems to be that I feel ready to film again on a Thursday. By the time I've done a pile of work and um, get it in my shop, my brain just feels a bit more ready to vlog. Um, while I'm trying to do some work and get stuff in my shop, vlogging is kind of the bottom of my priorities because I just feel like I really need to get a bit of work done. I managed to get a big pile of bags made um, and I'm just going to spend a bit of time today getting them uploaded to Etsy. Um, so now that I've done that, I've been working on these this past week. Um, managed to get them all photographed yesterday and like I said just gonna work on getting them uploaded in my shop today um, so I feel a little bit like I can breathe a sigh of oh, I've done some work this week feels good I can tick that box off and um, now I can start to think about doing other things and sharing a bit of what I've been up to with you so here's a little vlog about um, what I've been up to the past week I guess um, so I think the last time I spoke to you I was still reading this book, The Little Book of, no, The Little Cafe of Second Chances. So I finished that one. It took me a long time to read that just because I hadn't really been making time to read it. Though I really enjoyed it. I really, really liked how that ended. I thought it was really good. It kind of made you want to read right to the end to see how it would end. So it was a bit of a weird, there was a weird twist in that one which I'm not going to tell you in case you read it. But I really enjoyed it. Um, so after that one, I moved on to this one, The Queen of Wishful Thinking by Millie Johnson. She is becoming one of my favourite authors. I just kind of recently discovered her, maybe last year or the year before. Really enjoy her books. Um, I started this one probably on, I don't know, maybe Saturday or Sunday. And it's already Thursday and I've finished it already. I couldn't put it down. Really, really couldn't put it down. Um, I love the way she writes. She always has characters that you can identify with and people, you know, that you really like. And there's always people in the book you really don't like as well. There is a few crossovers in some of the books, which I kind of like. So the, the place where this is set in like a shop. So the place where the shop is set. Um, there's a cafe also in the same square and there's another book about the cafe so some of the characters are mentioned so I really quite like that idea and um, uh, the way that Millie Johnson writes her novels is um, I really like it because you really don't quite know where they're going to go you can have an inkling but it's not quite as obvious as some chiclet that you read um, some some authors I just find so predictable and it's kind of boring whereas I don't find these to be so predictable at all. Really like Millie Johnson. So I finished that already, so I need to find a new one to start. Um, I have just been getting loads of books at charity shops. I only ever really buy them in charity shops for a pound or less. I've got another couple of Millie Johnson books on my shelf that I haven't read yet, but I'm going to pace myself with those. I don't want to read them all at once and then have none left. So the next one I choose will not be a Millie Johnson. I'll save them. Um, I'll save them for another time. I think I've got one other one that's a Christmas one as well, so I definitely won't be reading that in May. Um, so yeah, if you like an easy read, Millie Johnson is brilliant. Um, so yeah, I've been making a lot of time to read in evening and before I go to bed, so that's been really good. Um, I've been back running this week. I had a bit of a week off last week because I hadn't felt very well. Um, I just had... Like over the weekend, last weekend, I had a really bad headache, felt really rubbish, hadn't slept very well and then it just kind of continued through the week. I never really caught up on sleep, never felt great. So I had a week off from the running, started back again this week and I think the week off has actually done me really good. I went back into it feeling quite um, like surprised and energised, surprised at how well I managed it again actually. Um, not that I was going to have um, forgotten it all in a week but... Um, I think sometimes just taking a bit of a break actually helps. So, um, what's today? Thursday. So I did a run yesterday and I'll aim to go again tomorrow. This week I also decided to dig out the supplies to try my hand at some embroidery. I'd seen lots of lovely, beautiful floral embroidery on Instagram and really wanted to give it a go. But um, sometimes for me just digging out all the supplies takes ages and I never get round to it. So this is what I've done. 
um, this pattern was actually a free pattern available on the website. I think it's called Flamingo Toes. I will leave a link to the pattern below. Um, the pattern has some wording over here, which I'm not going to include, but I am trying to decide whether to include some wording of my own. I'm not sure what to include though. I quite like the idea of something like stay wild or be wild or I don't really know. Something you know, wildflowers and I don't know what to write. If you've got any suggestions, leave me a comment. Maybe I should just leave it plain. I'm not Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm never very good at these kind of things. I wanted to use a pattern as well because um, I'm not very confident at embroidery or kind of drawing things like flowers. So I just kind of copied the pattern for the flowers and um, I think I actually scaled it down a bit as well. But I really, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Really pleased. I managed to do a few more pages in my traveller's notebook at the weekend. I um, can't remember if I shared this page already. That was my finished socks for March. So these two were advent socks. Well, these are my advent socks with advent yarns. And these were socks done in Lee Family Yarns Christmas colourway. I think it's called the Holly and the Ivy. Um, so this is the Impossible Girl pattern. And these are Hermione socks that I also finished and this was using the black current jam yarn that I dyed myself. So I wanted to record these in my book. So that page was, I'd left that page blank so I could go back and fill it in. So I've been filling in my fitness tracker. I need to do a new page for me. I haven't actually started me yet. I was still finishing off April and there's still another couple of pictures I want to add for April. These were yarns that I got in also Lee Family Yarn, um, the Easter box and a lovely little page here with a bee and I've got a new wax stamp that has a bee on it and um, this one didn't come out brilliantly but I still love it so I'm going to pop that on the page somewhere. I haven't quite finished it yet, um, it kind of needs a little something but I'm not sure what so I'll come back to that. Um, these are some beautiful paper clips that I've made um, a little while ago someone sent me a whole box of some crafting goodies and it included these little floral, I think they're called cabochons and they just have a flat back so I used my glue gun and popped them onto some giant paper clips and I think that is just beautiful. Um, so here's another couple of pages I did, just lots of like outdoor pictures because it's been so nice to be able to get outdoors now the weather's warmed up a bit. So. These were April. A lot of the photos, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that the same pictures that I've posted on Instagram. Um, 
photos of anything new. A little bit short on the short on the short on the ground. Is that the right phrase? Um, there's not very many photos of doing anything new at the moment, so they're getting recycled from Instagram into my scrapbook. I've got a couple here that I may add in. That's an old one that I hadn't printed off, so I'll maybe save that one and use that in the summer. Beautiful big sunflower. Um, so I may come back and add in that one. It's just a bit of crafting outdoors one day, it was nice. Um, and that's as far as I've got. So if I if I add in that one, that will be the last one for May, I think, uh, for April. And then I need to do a May cover page and then I can add in my fitness tracker for me as well. I do like having the fitness tracker. Just, I don't know, it's just nice to see that I've done stuff every day. And oh, I don't know if you just heard that there, that was my stomach growling. Um, yeah, it's just nice to know that we've done some walks and running and yoga and stuff. I find that a good motivator. Um, so yeah, I'm also nearly at the end of my first notebook. Not many more pages left in that. Um, so when I bought this notebook, it came with three inserts. So there was a blank one, which I've used first. And there's also a squared one. And there's also a lined one, which I haven't got in here yet. And that is probably the order I'll use them in. Um, that would be my order of preference. I can buy new inserts as well. So next time I'll probably buy just plain ones I think but I'll use up what I've got first and um, I'll leave a link below to the notebook that I have and I'm also going to leave a notebook to the printer that I've got because I've been asked that a lot lately on um, my vlogs and on YouTube I am also thinking about doing a little standalone video just as an introduction to scrapbooking and how to start because a lot of people have said they love the idea and they just don't know where to start so I'm thinking of doing a video along those kind of lines. It will be a standalone video, so if you're not interested in that kind of thing, you don't have to watch it. Yeah, so I'm just really enjoying doing this, maybe on a weekend when it's more sort of okay to do my own hobbies, really, rather than feeling like I should get a bit of work done. Well, that's what I was going to say. There are still a few scrapbooking packs in my Etsy shop. There's a couple left. Yep, there's a few packs left in my shop, so if you follow the link, it's in the description box below the video, it always is, it says something like, you can find my Etsy shop here, and then a link to my Etsy shop. You can also type in www.soreme.co.uk to your browser, and that will take you straight to my Etsy shop as well. These contain uh, lots of little papers, stamped papers, stickers. There's also some wax seals in there. Um, this was one of the kind of rejects, but you'll obviously get like a proper one and that hasn't been uh, broken off. And um, if you watch my vlog, maybe three vlogs ago, you'll, you'll see me making some of the things that go into the packs and um, it will kind of give you a bit of a starting point for maybe starting your journal or making cards. There's images like this in it with a watering can, lots of leaves, flowers, things like that. And there's some stickers and you may also get a little embellished paper clip of your own. This yarn order this week. Um, this is from someone I follow on Etsy, lusciouslyloopy.co.uk, or you can find her on Instagram here, lusciouslyloopy.crochet.yarn. Um, she was selling the West Yorkshire Spinners yarns at a really good sale price, and then there was a code for another 10% off. So I got these for about five pound a ball, I think. So I just got a load of sort of accent colours so that I can use it for heels and toes and whatnot. That one is a little bit brighter than I thought. <laughs> it's quite bright. Um, that one is a nice sort of green 
and I've, I got the red as well so these are sort of the Christmassy ones and they'll go with the Christmassy yarns I've already got um, I think I've already got this red but I use it a lot at Christmas because I sort of knitted up lots of little stockings and hats and things and it's just nice to have a red isn't it for Christmassy things and the green, I love green um, and I do have visions of a nice green pair of socks there's a pattern out that's got like trees on it, I can't remember what it's called I can't remember who it's by either <laughs> I'll have to have a proper look but um, yeah I do quite fancy something like that and I've just got lots of other colours that I know will go with other things that I've got for heels and toes and cuffs I've got a nice pink a nice peach and a lilac -y colour so just to enhance that little part of my stash up a bit as well so I've got some little extra colours and I also don't have many solid colours I realised when I was doing my Soul Sister socks which I haven't finished and I haven't really got much more done to show you yet and not only I'm nearly finished I just need to get on with it but I keep getting distracted by other things just back from our bike ride and I just kind of waddled up the stairs rather painfully. We ended up um, going a bit off piste and going exploring down a new path uh, near the pond we went to last week um, and we went way down a nice sort of woodland path and um, it was totally deserted and I had a rough idea where it was going to come out but I had absolutely, well I had a rough idea but I had no idea at the same time um, so it was a bit of an adventure finally made it home and um, I had my app on my phone to tell us how far we'd gone and we did 6.15 miles which was a bit shocking. Joshua was really surprised that we managed that. Um, luckily it was all fairly flat and there was one big hill just where we stopped to look at the horses. Um, I've left him lying on the couch with the TV remote because he's Oh, he got stung by nettles, he fell off of the bike at one point, he twisted his ankle at another point and Long bike rides with children are not straightforward when it comes to us. Um, so I've left him downstairs to chill for a bit and I've come upstairs with a nice cold drink and I'm just going to finish editing the vlog and get that uploaded. The shop update is ready to go, it's going to go on at 7pm tonight and I'm ready to chill. <laughs> I'll see you soon, bye!